Hello people of the universe, my name is Micah, and this video is for CS61B's Gold Points project. It is an alteration of Project 1's end body simulation, where I added all the planets in our solar system, including Pluto, as well as a black hole. The goal was to make a simulation in which the bodies can get consumed by the black hole if they get close to it, while still following the laws of physics, such as forces and acceleration. The black hole gets bigger each time it consumes a body. First, let's watch the simulation. Alright, so here's the simulation with the planets orbiting around the sun and the black hole existing here. Oh, so the Earth gets consumed first. So, goodbye human race. Well, I guess that was the last of us, like the last of the human race. And yes, the background music that I'm currently playing is from the last of us. I thought that might be funny. Okay, so now which planet shall be next? Mm. At first, I didn't really like how the sun's size looks the same as the other planet, so I just made it a little bigger. Um, I mean, it's still not pretty accurate, but it's a little bit better in my opinion. Oh! Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So, it slingshots around the sun, but in the middle of doing that, it consumes the sun, which makes the velocity of the black hole higher, and so it's not subject to the sun's gravity anymore. Um, this makes it go really fast in the end, um, since the other planets are not subject to the sun's gravity anymore. They're like, they move pretty differently towards the end. So, yeah, let me play another simulation that is um, sort of different. Not exactly different, but pretty similar. Um, So I tried adding the rest of the planets and of course we can use any celestial bodies in the simulation. Um, I had to play around with the data to make sure that the bodies don't fly off and disappear. Um, it's hard not to make the planets overlap but that's not really the whole point here. Um, so I added the black hole initially starting at the same size as the sun almost. To make things convenient I added a body name function which returns the name of the body it's considering. Um, this can be really useful for making certain conditions in the main function. Um, I use these conditions to also change the size of certain bodies, so I was able to make the sun and the black hole bigger than the rest. Um, the body names are also useful for keeping track of which planets have already disappeared. Um, let me play it again for you. So as the black hole gets closer to a body at a certain range, it sucks in, sucks in that body, so the black hole gets bigger. Um, in reality though, a black hole doesn't really get that large when it consumes a decent sized planet, but it gets bigger a tiny bit, but I just thought it'd be cool to include that feature in. Um, so in each time step, I used the calculation of distances from the black hole to all the other bodies. If certain bodies get too close to a black hole, they disappear or become null, so they're not drawn in the next time step, indicating that the black hole consumed them. By drawn, I mean like they're not drawn in yeah, the simulation. Um, the increase in size of the black hole depends on how many planets it eats. So the more planets it consumes, the larger it gets. The mass of black hole increases at the same time so that as the black hole gets bigger, the closer the other planets get to it. So that is my um, CS61B Gold Points project and I hope you enjoyed it.